friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today I will teach you how to make a simple and easy flashcards app in MIT App Inventor. What are flashcards? It is a memory aid for learning some facts or definitions. By the way, you can check out my free multiplication flashcards app on the Google Play Store where you can hear the question and speak the answer. Flashcards are excellent for learning multiplication tables, country capitals, word definitions, and so on. One side of the card has the question or the word, and the other side has the answer or the definition. Let's have a look at the demo. First, we are going to make our flashcards list by pressing the make button, and we can add the word and the definition, and press save, and it will be added to the list and to the tiny DB that is the database on our device. We can go back to the menu and then click on the start button and then we can use our flashcards. And if we tap on the word, we can see the other side that is the definition and we can do next or previous, okay? So let's begin. Go to projects, start a new project, Make sure that the toolkit is expert and let's call our project flashcards app. As you know that our app will have three screens and the screen one, that is the first screen will be our menu screen. So in the screen one's properties, make a line horizontal and a line vertical both center. From the user interface, drag and drop a button onto the viewer, rename it to make button and make the background color yellow, font bold, font size 25, and make the width 50%, and change the text to make. Select this button and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V on the keyboard for Windows or Command C, Command V for Mac OS. Rename it to Start button and change the text accordingly. Okay. Now go towards the top and click on this Add Screen button. First, we are going to add the Make screen. Okay. So the designer view has opened up, but we want to add another screen and that is the flashcard screen. Okay, so the three screens have been added. Now go back to screen one, okay? And now go to the block section. Very simple code for this screen one, that is our menu screen. That is when the make button is clicked, from control, get the open another screen block and make sure that you choose make screen, okay? Now, right click on it, duplicate it, choose start button and make sure that you choose the flashcard screen, okay? Now, again, go back to the designer view and choose the make screen. So let's work on the UX design for this screen. And this screen is for adding the flashcards to our app. The design is pretty similar to our Create Quiz app that we made quite a while ago. For screens properties, make a line horizontal center. Drag and drop a horizontal arrangement from layout onto the viewer. Make a line horizontal and a line vertical both center. And the height is 15% and the width is fill parent. Now, from user interface, drag and drop a label inside this horizontal arrangement. Make the font bold, font size 20, width is 30%, and change the text on it to word, colon, okay? Again, from user interface, drag and drop a text box on the right of the label and rename it to word text. TXT, make font bold, font size 20, make the width 50% and 
and change the hint to enter word. Select this horizontal arrangement and duplicate it. Now, for this label, change the text to def, short for definition, colon. Rename this second text box to def txt definition text and change the hint to enter definition. Now select the second arrangement and again duplicate it and remove all the things from it by deleting them and from user interface drag and drop a button inside it, rename it to save button, make the background color yellow, font bold, font size 20 and Change the text to save, okay? Select this button, duplicate it, rename it to clear button and change the text on it to clear all. Again, select it, duplicate it, rename this duplicated button to menu button or going back to the menu and change the text to menu. Okay, from user interface again drag and drop a list view below these horizontal arrangements and very important from the storage palette drag and drop a tiny db onto the viewer which is a non-visible component for storing our flashcards list. Our UX design is done so let's work on the block section. First of all we need a global variable for containing a flashcard, so let's call it flashcards and it's an empty list. Let's do the simple stuff first. When the menu button is clicked, we are going to take the user back to our screen one because that is our menu screen. So get the open another screen block from control and screen one is the right screen. When the save button is clicked, we want to save what the user has provided in the word text and the definition text into our tiny db. Okay, so what we're going to do is from lists, get the add items to list block, and here the list is our flashcards list. Let me make it a bit bigger, and the item is actually a list two containing two items, the word and the text. So how to do that? Go to lists and get the make a list block. And here in the first index, the word will come and in the second index, the definition will come. And we will be using these positions to access them in the flashcard screen. So click on word text and go down. And here is the text block and right click on it, duplicate it and now change it to definition text. Okay, that done. Now what next? We have to store this flashcards list in our tinyDB. So go to tinyDB and get the store value procedure and the value to store is our global flashcards list. So duplicate it from here and the tag now I'm going to call my tag flashcards and just remember the spelling and the exact word that you use because we will be using it quite often and a slight spelling mistake will not let you access the data from the tiny DB and will cause you errors. Not errors as such but you will not be showing any data if the tag is not correct. So at any time if you see that your data is not being loaded from the database this means that there's something wrong with the tag. The tag has to be exactly the same, okay? So I'm going to make it flashcards, okay? And last but not the least, update the list view. So click on list view and set its elements to the global flashcards, okay? Now when the clear button is clicked, we want to clear 
all the items from our flashcards list and also clear them from the DB. Okay, so go to tinyDB and get this block and right click on the tag to duplicate it to avoid spelling mistakes. So it will clear it from the DB, but we have to also clear it from our flashcards list. So go to variables and use the set block and choose flashcards and now make it an empty list. And again, right click on the elements, duplicate it and this list is now empty. So the list view will also now become empty. Okay. Now, once you have used the app, added cards to it, and then you close the app, and when you come back to the app again, we would like our flashcards that we saved, that we created, we made, to be loaded. So how to do that? When the screen is initialized, we want to load the data from the tinyDB. So, go to variables, get the set block, choose flashcards here, and assign them to the loaded data which we can get from calling tinyDB's get value procedure. And again, remember that the tag is super important. So right click on it and duplicate it so that we don't make a spelling mistake. And value if not there is actually an empty list. This expects a list. So if there's no value there, you should give it an empty list, okay? And again, the same code, set the elements of list view to the loaded flashcards. Last but not the least, we can delete a particular item in the list view by tapping on it. The code for this needs to be in the list views after picking event. And we will use the selection index of the picked item to remove it from the flashcards list. So go to lists and get the remove list item block and here the list is the global flashcard so we can duplicate it by right clicking on it and the index is the list view selection index. So list view, if I go down we have this selection index. Okay and then we have to also remove that item from the list view so click on list view and there's this remove item at index block and again we can provide it that selection index okay and remember that we have to store everything back into the tiny db so i can go up and right click on it and duplicate this thing because this code is exactly the same and then bring it down so this is what we did in the save button too okay so this make screen part is done and we will work on the design, that is the UX design of the flashcard screen and the code to complete the app in the next class. So I hope you like this video, do share it with your friends and family and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do so so that you don't miss the second part and the other great projects that I have planned for you. Thank you for watching my video, have a good day and goodbye.